this is Alex Sikorus, and this is the 2022 News in Review, where we bring you the top stories of the past year from Pangyo Techno Valley. There are four keywords for this series, and today's keyword is AI. Here's the first news recap from 2022, this past September. Korea Deep Learning selected for AI Learning Data Construction Project. Korea Deep Learning announced that the company was selected for the 2022 AI Learning Data Construction Project and plans to construct the world's first ink painting data. Kim Ji Hyun, CEO of Deep Learning Korea, said, We plan to process various expression techniques of ink painting into data in a form that is easy for AI models to use. She added, the ultimate goal of this project is to navigate the direction of ink painting education by using AI technology and to raise the awareness and understanding of traditional art. And here's a second news story that we'll cover from AI in 2022. Soynet won the Smart AI Innovation Prize at the 4th Industrial Revolution Power Korea. Soynet, an artificial intelligence service execution optimization solution company, won the Smart AI Innovation Award at the 2022 4th Industrial Revolution Power Korea. At this seventh event, Soynet won the award in recognition of its excellence in software solutions and key technology that supports the lightning of AI models. Soynet Solutions helped AI companies run services or applications faster. In addition, it can achieve an ultra high speed and a reduction in GPU memory usage when compared to AI frameworks such as TensorFlow and PyTorch. The third news recap comes from this past October. Floatic unveiled first prototype of logistics automation robot at the SCM fair. Logistics automation robot startup Floatic unveiled its first prototype at the SCM Fair, an industry exhibition for distribution, logistics, and supply chain management. Floatic is developing an autonomous robot solution that can increase picking speed and operational efficiency in e-commerce distribution centers. By utilizing robots and AI technologies, Logistics center automation can be achieved without construction of additional infrastructure. The first prototype unveiled by Floatic consists of a self-driving robot and a logistics specialized server. It is very easy to link with the existing warehouse management system or WMS warehouse management system. A key advantage is the robot can be operational from the following day after its arrival. And here's the fourth news story we'll recap for 2022. Kotec and Spring Cloud join forces for autonomous driving mobility development. The core of this R&D contract between Spring Cloud, a company specializing in autonomous driving mobility service, and the Korea Automobile Research Institute, or Kotec, is the development of CAMO-based autonomous driving shuttle and providing support technology. In the future, the plan is to continue the research on the control procedure education and training for this shuttle, as well as troubleshooting and maintenance of the shuttle. The contents of the R&D agreement with Kotec include providing camel vehicle information and sensor information, like GPS, LiDAR, image information, camel motion control IF engineering, or CAN-based control procedure training and development support, and providing system engineering necessary for camel-based autonomous driving development, such as power specifications and network configuration. And finally, our last AI news story comes from November. Altera received International Organization for Standardization Certification for their facial recognition solution. Altera announced that its facial recognition solution has passed iBeta's Presentation Attack Detection, or PAD, test in the U.S. It is the first in Korea to get certification for a passive method, face recognition solution applicable to general cameras. Altera's facial recognition solution test was conducted with a camera with general specifications and with 100% probability. The solution was able to distinguish fake faces disguised as other people.
Altera is the first in Korea to get certification for the general camera passive method instead of a depth camera without requiring specific actions such as face position adjustment. And that's going to do it for the 2022 News in Review AI, where we took a look at the AI news out of Korea's top AI hub, Pangyo Techno Valley. My name is Alex Sigrist, and I will see you next time.